Hi everybody and welcome back to another Sailor Moon review. Today I have two pop figures for the Sailor Moon pop figure line and this is of course Sailor Moon and Sailor Mercury but these are two different variants that I have found. Um, th this being the glitter one. A lot of people know about this one. This one came out around Christmas time and this is the Go Calendars exclusive glitter variant. And this one's not an official variant, but I was looking at some of the pops at my local Books A Million and I noticed that her hair color and her fuku was a little different than the one that I already had. And I don't know if this is a new re-release or what exactly, but her hair is definitely more blue here. So I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what she looks like versus the one that I already have and see if you guys notice that too. But we'll take a look at these both together. This is of course the glitter one. We'll look at it first. Sailor Moon and Luna. So this is basically the standard Sailor Moon pop, but she has a glitter outfit. And you kind of see it there in the box, but this is from Go, it's Go Calendars. They have a website called calendars.com and that's where I ordered this from. Uh, they also had a Go store that was in pretty much every local mall probably during the holiday season, but they only have it open for a couple of months and then they end up closing down for the season. So we'll take a look at her a little closer so you guys can see. She does come with a stand, but I won't mess with it too much. The Luna is the same as the normal release of Luna. Very much the same figure, nothing too different about her. So it's mainly Sailor Moon here. So as you can tell, she's quite sparkly. She has her Odangos up here and they have glitter on them. And then her dress and boots are all glittered. So she has glitter all over her costume. And it's quite pretty. I do like the way it looks. It's just a paint over, so they basically took that one and just painted over her dress to make this. But I think they did a pretty good job. There's no mess up in the glitter painting. It's not all over the place. I've gotten some pop figures before where the glitter was just crazy and it was all over the figure in places it shouldn't have been. She has a little bit of yellow paint spudge here. Probably get that off maybe. But I've been leaving her in the box. I didn't take her out or anything until just now. So but I wanted to get a better look at her too. That way you guys can look at her as well. But yeah, she is really nice. And these Sailor Moon ones, they stand up on their own. You don't have to have the stand if you don't want. It's your choice if you want to use the stand, but I think she stands up pretty well on her own because of her hair being so long in the back. But yeah, that's the Sailor Moon glitter one. The other one is, of course, Mercury. And then I have this Mercury. This is the first one that I ever got. And her hair is a little bit more green. Her dress is a little more bright blue. And she looks more like uh, the newer art that you'll see for Sailor Moon. I've never really liked it much. I always thought her hair being this kind of like greenish color looked really odd. She doesn't look like she does in the, the show at all to me. <laughs> Personally, I don't think she has this green hair in the show. But all the new art has this green hair, so. But yeah, when I saw this one, I was really shocked by it. I really liked the color difference. And we'll get her out of here so y'all can see. And here she is, and you can tell right off the bat that she's different. <laughs> her um, hair, of course, is the major difference, but her outfit is also more lighter blue and her bow is a lighter blue as well. This is, to me, is the way Mercury looks. It's her color. But some people like this version too, so I don't know. To me, I think this one is better. 
I like the actual blue hair and I like the lighter blue in the bow and the costume. But I don't know, let me know in the comments, guys, which version you prefer. It kind of looks kind of like the crystal versus the classic anime versions in a way. But I think this one definitely is my favorite one. Now the bottom of the boots look different, or the top anyways. The top of the boots look different as well. This one's more white and the other one's more blue. You kind of see that a little better. There we go. So yeah, she's got a bunch of differences. But I do think this version is the prettiest. So that is basically the pop figures of Sailor Moon I wanted to show. I do hope they make some more characters. I was really shocked that they didn't have any for San Diego Comic-Con last year. So maybe they'll have some new ones announced later this year. We can only hope. I think these sold pretty well. But let me know in the comments what characters you'd like to see happen for pop figures. I would like to see a Princess Serenity one for sure. I saw a couple customs and I really liked the design. So maybe that'll get Funko to thinking, hmm, maybe we need some new characters. But um, thanks so much for, for watching guys and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.